Hey guys, it's me Chandra, and so today's video will be the provision guide for the first playable 5 star character in Netland, which is Mualani. As usual, in here, we'll cover about her kit, her build, team, and so on. Is she good or not, including the material? And in the end, as usual, I will share something, everything that I know about Mualani. So let's get started. So, as usual, for me, usually I will read the first sentence so we kind of know what the Genshin developer want to do with Mualani. So they just say in here very simple, Mualani is a high road damage dealer with the high mobility. So basically like DPS with high mobility. And this is all the material that we need for Mualani. All of them pretty much is a brand new material from Netland. But right now they have a brand new feature where we can just level up until level 60 without have to gather this stuff which is already quite help us. But in the end also I will still show you this is the total material that you need to ascend for Mualani. And always thanks to Devil Takoyaki. And now let's move to the her kit itself. And let's start with the normal attack and charge attack and plunging attack. Everything in here just nothing special, but again, always Katal is very unique and Muali is very cute. I have to be honest, it's very see look at there. So cute. And for the elemental skills, since right now they already refill all the character kits right now, I just make it simplified version because if I explain all of them one by one. Some people even more confused. Let's start first with the elemental skill in here in terms of traversal. So you can see in here she can just like surf around the water including the lava and crazy. It will increase her speed also, resistant interruption which is good. And also she of course can walk around the water or even lava <laughs> which is quite something. For Moelani main gimmick which is elemental skill, surf shark wave breaker. So basically when you press elemental skill she will be on surfboard. And if you pay attention closely, she can mark the enemy and have this fish symbol. Whenever she mark the enemy, she will get one stack. And she can accumulate up to three stack. Whenever you already have three stack, you can press normal attack and she will do this shark bite. And another interesting thing that after she perform this shark bite, she will also have these additional missiles that you will attack to the enemy, kind of like a little bit of AoE, so which is quite good. Another of additional info is that this shark bite itself will consider as a normal attack and the scaling of this elemental skill is based on her max hp and some of the stuff that already obvious but i have to make it clear that she will deal hydro damage okay it's already clear you see hydro damage and whenever you do a normal attack the stack that she gained it will consume same like navia bullet so it's not like stay three stack you do normal attack it's still three stack no once you get three stack you do normal attack it's consume everything if you wonder why make the difference between one mark until three marks basically the more marks she will deal more damage and even if you already get third mark she will perform not just a shark bite but it's called a shark searching bite which is the strongest of her power itself another additional info is that her normal attack her shark bite she can perform on the mid air they didn't show in here but they say on the details she can do on the mid air which is pretty good other than that regarding her missiles the more that she attack to the enemy, the damage actually will decrease of the missile sub. She can deal up to 5 enemy, but it can decrease up to 72%. But also take notes that her shark bite is only attack single enemy. It's only missile that AoE. So yeah, pay attention also to that. She also has some passive for her skill itself, which is whenever you have already 3 stack and you perform normal attack and do this searching bite, she will get this power fish you see. If you pay attention and in here she will restore 20 night souls if you pay attention yeah that's her passive and for her elemental burst it called booming shark kalaka paimon will be like it so it's just very simple elemental burst is just new heavy higher damage and it's based on her max hp that's pretty much that simple well any elemental burst she also have passive in here whenever your party nearby trigger night soul burst Mualani will get 1 stack and it can get up to 3 stacks similar like her elemental skill and it will damage to be increased. It can go from 15 to 45% of her max HP. So if some of you still wonder why this Night Soul Burst, this is basically heaven announced so this is kind of spoiler but in just very brief, Night Soul Burst is basically whenever any Netland character deal elemental damage to the enemy itself they will trigger the night soul burst more the more char natlan character in your party the cooldown of this night soul burst is even getting lower and this is also not really clear how we will get this stack from walani from this passive inside i'm not really sure is that you need to do three hit only or three hit with three different party not really sure still need more testing and couple of her kit, this is only about like traversal which is already power creep by a lot. 
So first in here she will get like extra bar, like what is called, it's very hard, blow keystone. So this is basically extra bar for her stamina in order to keep doing this shark bar elemental skill. Even you already don't have nice soul points so kind of like additional bar. So which is good, you can like even travel longer with along with this like surfboard itself. Another thing in here, whenever you swim, you can even switch right away to Mualani and she will like surfboard right away. You don't need to swim, which is quite cool in here. So yeah, that's everything about Mualani kit. She's overall pretty simple in terms of character. Basically, you just need to do elemental skill, mark three enemy, and whenever you get three stack, just do normal attack, keep repeating, and after that do ultimate, pretty much it. Nothing really much that you can do. And couple things that I grasp from her kit is that I think like her character it's a, it's mostly focused on single target although she has some of AoE but her AoE even like the more enemy that she hit her damage will decrease from the Bissell sub which is quite already give you a little bit hint that she is mostly in the single target itself. Also she doesn't really looks like have a fast hydro application you can see even the mark doesn't apply any hydro just whenever you do the shark bite then it apply hydro and the missile and that's actually quite slow. So usually you kind of want to play like the one that deal big damage like Vaporize. If you do like bloom like this, it will took ages for you to get the dendro core. But if you ask me how strong is Mualani, is she good character or not? In the end, it's very hard if you just judge from the animation itself. You need to see the number. But again, if it's number, that means that mine. So if you don't want to hear any spoiler, then skip this part. But overall, Mualani actually pretty strong character because she's slow application in terms of hydro itself. Usually we want to play in Vaporize and yeah, in Vaporize she deal high amount of damage and relatively already in the stronger side. And I already told you and I want to give you remind starting from now, don't get bait if you just see later Mualani can deal like 200k, 300k in or even 400k in one ultimate or one even single normal attack itself from the shark bite itself. Because she can possibly do that easily. Yeah, again, don't getting sell it too much because she has couple downs that I want to talk later. The things also if you wonder in terms of our current character, how is her power level is that she's around a little bit below Nevelet or around like Navia, a little bit above Navia, maybe something around that because she has a little bit problem that I want to talk right now. First is consistency. Although she deal a lot of damage, her consistency is the, the one that dragging compared to another top DPS. Because in here, the main gimmick of all Nathan Karate is Night Soul. Night Soul is this bar. So the, that means if you already have this skill, you have limited time to perform the best DPS as you can. So imagine you have to mark the enemy first, right? Imagine they run out really like here and there. You have to chase and your bar is still decreasing. You don't even deal any damage. And then yeah, you just wish your DPS. But what if if it's single target they didn't move, then you can perform this like max stack normal attack again and again. And yeah, you can maximize your DPS. So again, it's become like very you not know, consistent. If an enemy agile or the situation where the enemy move in here, here and there, then her DPS pretty much quite low because it's very hard for you to maximize the stack. But if the enemy is static or like probably single target like bosses, she can maximize it. So because of that, it's less consistent, less like Nuvelet, don't really care if it's like the separate here and there, we can just like charge attack and target very easily. And yeah, it's more convenient than how you use Mulani. So that's why she's pretty strong, but her consistency between the worst and to the best, the game is pretty big. So it's really rely on the enemy, surrounding and even yourself, how you will maximize with this short period amount of time. And let's move to the build and let's talk with the weapon and for the 5 star weapon for Molani of course the best one is her signature surf up. It gives you critical damage, give you a bunch of HP increase and also will increase your normal attack pretty much just everything good for her. Other than that if you have the tomb of the eternal flow that's also pretty good because increase also your HP. The stat also gives you critical damage but other than that it's not really that super useful for Molani. It's good just because the stat that other than that, Nahida, a thousand floating of dreams. This is pretty good. Give you EM and EM because while you're playing in Vaporize, she's still useful and give you a couple of elemental damage and elemental mastery. Pretty good for her. Other than that, if you have, let's say, Kagura Feriti, Tula Tuya, Everlasting Moon Glow, or even Jet Fall Splendor, it's still pretty much good just because the stat, but of course, the effect, not really great. That's why they are still decent. For four star weapon for Moalani, the best one in general or best for free to play, which is the new forgeable weapon, the Ring of Yaxche. They already announced it's basically HP based weapon and also will increase your normal attack. 
based on your every 1000 max HP, which is already good for Moal and it's already matched her kit. Other than that, of course, if you have like prototype Ember, that also fine, especially if you don't have that the new forgeable you want to use it as a temporary is fine other than that with set if you have this is actually still pretty good especially if you can make r5 give you critical damage but this is mostly only kind of useful if you really like speed run other than that sometimes it can be worse than even the new free to play weapon itself other than that if you maybe pay battle pass then you can equip this sacrificial jade but take notes this is great rate weapon mualani will have like brand new artifact that view a lot of great rate so because of that you may be offer cap but assuming you don't offer cap this is still pretty much a good solid weapon and now let's move to the artifact section and let's start with the artifact sets the best artifact sets for mualani in general which is the brand new artifact that they announced which is obsidian codex because two piece they will increase damage by 15 percent while you're in the night soul state and and four piece is the one that crazy consume one night soul point increase crew rate by 40 percent for six seconds which is this makes you just like can almost ignore crit, just invest a little bit and then after that all of them just go for crit damage and that's actually very good for DPS. However, the only downside in here if you start to equip let's say like Lost Prayer, the one that have crit weapon, you probably can offer cap your crit rate itself which is over 100%. So because of that you can go with another alternative let's say like HOD or Heart of Death itself because in here still pretty good hydro damage bonus and four piece increase normal attack which is still good for mualani itself but yeah in general if you are not equipping not crit rate weapon the one that's still best is the obsidian codex so this one only exception for crit rate weapon only also heart of the fine option if you of course don't have any good artifact for obsidian codex because that's life in 5.0 right so you still need time for you to kind of like farming you can use this as a day one like temporary set other than that for the temporary set that you can go which is the elemental reaction base the gilded dream this is also fine if you don't have uh, obsidian codex yet hunter set if you pair with furina then you can equip this for mualani too for the like temporary set or even if you play with burning let's say with emily you can finish you can use this unfinished referee it's still pretty much okay and of course if you don't have any solid for piece set then you can just go with two piece two piece let's say two piece of hp and two piece of hydro damage bonus like heart of death and even if you already have two piece of obsidian codex you can just like also mix and match with that too and for artifact main set for mualani let's start with the sense the best one of course hp percentage because mualani is hp scaling and for the goblet the best one is hydro damage bonus however if you don't have any hydro damage bonus yet and you can go with hp percentage is still fine alternative and for the shield cut, always as usual, if you need more crit rate, then go for crit. If you need more crit damage, then go for crit damage. However, if you're equipping Obsidian Codex, most probably will go for critical damage. For the subset for Mualani, just prioritize crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, elemental mastery, and after that, HP percentage. For Moale Team Com, if you talk about a good Team Com, she doesn't really have that much because her best is usually in the fab price. If you talk about Hyper Room, she's not really great because her hydro application is pretty slow to trigger like the Android core unless you just use the catalyst which is what's the point you use Moala you can just use Barbara and because of that I was just to cover in here all the team that relatively good for her and some of them just for fun so don't expect all of them will be meta I would say first with the best in general which is Moala in fab price of course the one you want to put is Shangling because Shangling is one of the best pyro applicator in here and there's we don't really have much other than Shangling so yeah Mualani and Shangli is usually the default in here and the rest is usually just free depends on your whatever that you kind of want you want to put Dia in here for your defensive with utility is fine and you could put Kazuo in here for Swirl but again Swirl in Mualani is pretty hard so if you kind of find it's a little bit hard you can change let's say like Furina team but also with Fu in Furina you have to take notes that Furina like Hydro can be overlapped with Shangli and even Mualani because the of course the summon itself so Make sure you have a good timing also to trigger when it, but if you can make it a good timing and along with Furina buff, actually, yeah, she can get a lot of high damage. And of course, the last one, just put any healer that can match with Furina, let's say like Xiaonyun or even Jin. And then if you want to play also like Mualani burning to trigger Vaporous, that also still fine. Because you can put like Tahida or Emily. And that in here, just Pyro Karate, you want like Xiangling, Dia also can to trigger the burning in here. And afterwards, 
the last one is basically just free if you want more like defensive you can just put Zhongli so you will not die from the burning itself I don't know if you want to play Mualani in Hyper Boom also can just put like Nahida in here and Yelan or in some AOE situation maybe you want to put Candice also can and the last one is Cookie and of course the last one if you want to play Mualani Taser is also can you put like Mualani, Fischl or Yaimiko and of course Sucrose or Kazuha and the last one is any healer usually people put Kokomi so yeah that's pretty much it's it all about Mualani profession guide and in the end I will share whatever that I know about her is that first that I already told you Mualani is a strong main DPS relatively however when she released don't get bait by content creator that show wow she can do 200k 300k 400k and they just give you screenshot because yes she can do that but the problem is that it's not that consistent in fact that you want to do that every single hit it's quite hard especially if enemy move around here and there and it will be even harder because ideally if you want to use with mualani you want to do this normal attack with full stack around two or three times even better but it's actually very hard if they move around that's why it's easy if it's single target and even it is not always consistency so it's always rely also on you how you can do this very fast because this night soul is no very long last it's so because what you need to maximize it i did that yes you can get this puffer fish but again sometimes they will spawn a little bit far from you and you will not get that and yeah sometimes you already even run off night soul and this tech itself it's no kind of like accumulate and it will save like navia bullet it's no in fact that if you run out of this night soul that stack is gone even you already have three marks so that's why maximizing it's not really that easy on her other than that that i want to say is that her support is not really complete yet like if you see my team com i already mentioned like mualani and xiangling the rest is just like free right because right now i feel like mualani typical character same like fontaine or even like sumeru itself where usually to make them better they rely on their archon like say like how sino or even nilo with nahida itself or furi now with navia nuvelet rice something like that they usually enhance more to the their own region character stuff so i believe also maybe mualani with maufika pretty much will getting like maybe synchron or synergy and help to make her even better but so far i know she's still in a pretty strong side that i already mentioned but just don't expect she will be like oh broken over to the limit like nuvelet or alhaitam or like you know so yeah in the end if you like like a strong main dps and like her playstyle i mean it's fine to get her it's just like don't expect like she's broken that's it and don't get bait by all those content creator things if you like this video feel free to share the button and like and i'll see you next time bye bye